Hey, hey, so y'all know who this is, James Donnell, D. Da Vinci the Poet. Before I get started, <clears throat> my scent today, Territory Platinum from the House of YZY, and that's Invictus Aqua Clone. You can get these for like 15 bucks online and at your retailers. But you know how I do. Without further ado, roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> So, in this video, I have one, two, three, four scents that I absolutely hate. <clears throat> Either the projection doesn't last like I want it to and I can't really get the smell out of it. It doesn't last well on my skin. Or, probably with all four of these, they just smell absolutely disgusting. So... We're going to get started so I can keep this video short and sweet and not overbear. Y'all, with the video, I'm not going to go over the notes or nothing like that. Just mark my word that these are not the best scents. Um, and they're from designer houses. So, let's get started with the first one. <clears throat> the first one is not a bad scent, per se. But at the same time, as soon as I spray it, I really cannot smell it. And that's from the house of CK, CKB. I blind bought this one from maybe Marshalls, maybe even Ross Dress for Less. And right off the back, I was disappointed. It's not the best scent, but at the same time, it doesn't last on your skin at all. I actually tried to give this away and nobody wanted it. <laughs> so... I don't know. It's something about CKB that I just do not like. It's like a soapy shower gel, but it's not like a good smelling shower gel. So CKB, it's, it's, not, it's not what I like. So Calvin Klein, CKB, y'all can discontinue this and I will not be disappointed. Do not blind buy. Don't do anything, <laughs> to be honest. Don't even think about CKB. If you want a CK fragrance that comes with these type of atomizers where you have to put it on yourself, get CK1 Shock. Get CK1 Summer uh, 2021. Get any of the CK1 Summers. But my favorite, get CK1 Shock. That last smells good. It'll introduce you to tobacco flavored. Flavored. Wow. <laughs> tobacco smelling fragrances. And you'll be good to go. The next scent <clears throat> smells absolutely disgusting. It smells to the point where my fiance has to hold her nose when she smells this scent. And this is from the house of Burberry. It's Burberry for men. This is trash. Matter of fact, the presentation of it, it looks like I'm about to get my nails done. Because this looks like nail polish. Huh. It old manish, and I'm talking about old manish in a bad way, not in a Drake Hard Noir way. It's just like an old man that just smells bad. I do not like Burberry for men. So I don't know what they did. They tried to make a frugere and didn't make a good frugere. Um, yeah, from the house of Burberry, it is Burberry for men. Do not blind buy. Also, from the house of Burberry, is the one that everybody says smells like bug spray. So you probably already know what it is. So let's get into it. It's Burberry Weekend. This really does smell like off bug spray. And off bug spray is not a bad smell. But I don't want to go around in public saying that's the cologne I'm wearing. Because they're going to think that I'm literally spraying off bug spray trying to smell good. Don't know why they invented this. I really tried. You can see how many times I've tried to like it. Because I've sprayed a lot. But I'm done with it. I cannot. The only reason I actually even bought this is because 
I caught it on sale for like 10 bucks because somebody actually brought it back to Marshalls and I see why they brought it back. <laughs> they sprayed like one spray and was like ill and brought it back and then the box was damaged and they tried putting it back together, couldn't, so they just heavily discounted it and I see why because this is hot trash. It smells like it can repel bugs. So from the house of Burberry, it is Burberry weekend. Now I do have Burberry since I like. I do like Burberry London. I do like Burberry Touch. I use Burberry Touch all the time. But every house doesn't make every good scent. So this is one and this is another that they just didn't do a good job. Just like Calvin Klein. The next one is one that you may drill me for because I don't really hear people say that they don't like this scent. And it's from a great house. They make excellent scents. Just did not do it with this one. This is sweet. This is musky. This is supposed to be woody. And I just get disgusting. I get a sour scent. It smells like I opened up my refrigerator and food expired. And that's from the house of Versace. It's Versace Blue Jeans, man. This right here, like I just said, smells like somebody opened the refrigerator and I said, please throw everything out the refrigerator. It is sour to me. And it smells, I don't know, like, like somebody ate some food and then just decided a week later not to brush their teeth. I don't know why people like Versace Blue Jinx, man. I almost thought I had a bad batch, but I've never like left this out in the sun or anything. It smelled okay when I originally bought it because it comes in those cans where you can take it out the can and you know you and smell it. But as time progressed, I realized why did I buy this? Versace Blue Jeans, man, it's horrible. So I I don't know. It's just not good. Uh, Versace Blue Jeans, man. And I love Versace. I love Versace Euros. Um, I love Versace The Dreamer. Um, I've heard like Versace Dylan Blue is good. Versace Per Home. Um, Versace Euros Flame. I'm not the biggest fan of, but people like it. But this is the worst Versace fragrance I've ever smelled. It I don't know. So those are the four fragrances. I think the underlining theme is that they're musky and the fact that they also all have, I think it's either lavender or, um, hold that note. Let me actually look because it is about two different uh, types of notes in here. I know musk is one and I like musky scents, but for some reason when it mixes, with this, it was just a hot mess. And all these scents have that same thing in common. So I'm looking up Versace Blue Jeans Man. And in Versace Blue Jeans Man, it does have musk in it. And it also has bergamot. That's what it is. Bergamot and musk, for some reason, is disgusting to me because that's the underlining theme that I see in here. I can't say it's the lavender, even though lavender is throughout most of these scents because I love lavender scents, but it's that bergamot mixed with that musk, and this has vanilla tonka bean, and I love it. I love vanilla and tonka bean, but it does not go well in Versace blue jeans, man. So that's pretty much it. I just want to tell you those four scents that I would absolutely say don't even buy it, whether you even smell it. When you smell it, you're probably not going to like it. But if you do want to know what these smell like, go to either a department store or even better bet, go to the outlet mall and go to either Perfumes For You or go to, um, what's the name of the other store, um, Fragrance Outlet and just smell them on a tester strip. Tell them to put it on your skin. But if you put it on your skin, you're probably going to have to wash it off, especially with Versace Blue Jeans, man. You're going to have to wash that off your skin because it stinks. So I'm done. <laughs> so tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend's father, sister, mother, brother, cousin that D Da Vinci the poet does poetry and sim reviews and ugh, I'm out.
Golly. Peace. God bless. <laughs>